A king who thinks he's a beggar, even if he's put in a palace, will reduce and deteriorate to the level of a beggar. Come after a while, that palace will become a begging ground. Because the identity is wrong, the manifestation must be consistent with that identity. This is why when we are dealing with the subject of authority, the first place to start is the place of who you are in Christ. And if you read your Bible, from Genesis chapter 1 verse 26, God said, let us make man. And he didn't just make man after any order. He defined the order in which man will be made. He said, let us make man in our own image, after our likeness. Because we don't want this man to draw relevance from any other thing. We want this man to rule over the visible realm. And so if this man must have an identity, the identity he sustains must be superior to everything in the visible realm. Because if he draws his relevance from anything in the visible realm, that thing will be lord over him. If this man will be lord over creation, then he can't draw identity from creation. And so the only thing superior to creation was God himself. So God designed the man in his own image after his likeness. The moment the issue of identity was solved, 28, let them have dominion. Dominion over what? Over all the visible creation. Because there is nothing in creation that is superior to the DNA of the man. And because the man's identity is consistent with God, only God will be seen to be bigger than him. And because of that, he can exercise authority. 